if you are not married, and let's say you have somebody, maybe you're engaged to somebody. I'm buying some flowers for my wife because it's close to Valentine's Day. And I'm going to give you some advice on the type of person you should marry. You should marry the person who does not expect you to buy flowers for them. And I know that sounds insane, but let me explain this. My wife, if I did not get her flowers, she wouldn't care. She wouldn't get mad at me. She wouldn't complain at me. She'd be like, what? She, you know, she wouldn't say anything. She wouldn't even know. She would not even, and she'd be like, who cares? It's kind of stupid. Why would you go spend 40 bucks on flowers? Like, why don't we just go out to eat somewhere? She doesn't care about that little stuff. She doesn't expect me to do it. Now that I show up with flowers, she's going to be like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. She is surprised. She's happy because she doesn't expect it. A lot of people, men and women, expect their spouse to do things. And when you have an expectation for your spouse, that almost points to a little bit of selfishness. When you expect your spouse to take you out to an amazing seafood dinner and spend a bunch of money on them, when you expect it, then it's hard to please that person, right? Because you have to go so above and beyond and you have to keep outdoing yourself when at the end of the day, that spouse should be happy to be with you. Whether you buy her flowers or him flowers or whatever you buy him, it doesn't matter because you're a team. This isn't fifth grade love, it's team. You should be a team as a married couple. My wife knows that it's more important that she sees that I'm building a future for us, creating a business, making a lot of money, uh, investing in our future so that someday we can go retire and do whatever we want. That's important to her. Going out and hunting and getting the kill is what is important to her. It's important that we as a team, we know our goals. What do we want to achieve? What do we want to do with our fitness? What do we want to do with our money? What do we want to do with our business? Those goals, that's important. Not flowers. If flowers is the biggest argument in your relationship, something is south. You should be like so busy working on your goals, working on improving, working on becoming the best person you can be, that flowers, you forget it's even Valentine's Day. You forget that, oh shoot, I need to buy you a Christmas present because we're out here grinding and working so hard, we're having success and we're kicking tail, so we're having fun together. Like, wow, it's fun being successful. It's fun improving your life. It's fun finding success and helping each other do that. So if you have a spouse that cares about, hey, you didn't get me flowers. Hey, you haven't taken me out uh, on a date. Uh, I expect you, we need to go on a nice date. Hey, my wife, and we have a great marriage, the expectation is that we're both winning as a team. We're winning as a team. Sometimes we forget, oh, we haven't been on a date in a while. You know why? Because we're having fun and we're kicking tail, making money, having success, improving our life, improving our physical fitness, that sometimes having dinner at a fancy restaurant that is primarily those people, it's for everybody else, so they can post it on Facebook and say, look, my husband took me out. Look where my husband took me. Oh, look at us. Oh, look at us. My husband bought me flowers again and all this stuff. It's for everybody else. What's really for you in your relationship? Well, the last thing down the list on us is me buying my wife flowers. It's me going out, being the best version I can so I can bring in money so we can go enjoy ourselves and have success. And that's what I'm trying to tell you is, I know it sounds nuts, but you should marry the spouse that does not expect you to buy them flowers or expect you to take them on fancy dinners all the time. That's gonna be a headache and they're not looking long-term. It is a short-term solution. It's a short-term thing. Now, you should, men, even though your wife doesn't expect you to buy flowers, you should buy her flowers. Even though your wife doesn't expect you to take her out to dinner, you should take her out to dinner. You should do these things. You should do these things. You should expect yourself to do these things, but you shouldn't marry somebody who expects it. Because when I go walk in here, and I uh, show my, and I hand these flowers to my wife. She's gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, thanks! You didn't have to do that. Like, why did you do that? Like, I thought we, you said you weren't gonna do that. Like, that is great. That 
reaction instead of somebody going, oh, yeah, like, oh, well, thank you. Like, you know, I was wondering when you're going to buy them. Like, that, that is not the person you want to be with, in my opinion. So find a somebody who you want to build a team with. Build a team and you'll find success together. Ignore this little tiny small stuff that is not going to matter in 50 years, but do it anyways, guys. Do it anyways, girls. Take care of your spouse. Take care of your significant other, even though they don't expect it.